praise the Lord for today's devotion. Let us turn to the book of Judges chapter 2. Here we see a pattern of behavior of the children of Israel. Rebellion, retribution, repentance and rest. Rebellion, retribution, repentance and rest. We will read a few verses starting from Judges chapter 2 verse 1. And an angel of the Lord came up from Gilgal to Bochim and said, I made you to go up out of Egypt and have brought you unto the land which I swore unto your fathers. And I said, I will never break my covenant with you. And you shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land. You shall throw down their altars, but you have not obeyed my voice. Why have you done this? Wherefore I also said, I will not drive them out from before you. But they shall be as thorns in your sides, and their gods shall be a snare unto you. And it came to pass when the angel of the Lord spoke these words unto all the children of Israel, that the people lifted up their voice and wept. And they called the name of that place Bochim, and they sacrificed there unto the Lord. And the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua, and all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua, who had seen all the great works of the Lord that he did for Israel. In verse 10, And there arose another generation after them which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. The children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served Balaam. They forsook the Lord. They followed other gods. Wherever they went out, the hand of the Lord was against them for evil. Verse 15, as the Lord had said. Verse 16, Nevertheless, the Lord raised up judges which delivered them out of the land of those that spoiled them. And yet they would not hearken unto their judges, but they went warring after other gods and bowed themselves unto them. Then the Lord was with the judge. When the judge was dead, that they corrupted, they returned themselves more than their fathers. They corrupted themselves more than their fathers in following other gods to serve them and to bow down unto them. They ceased not from their own doings nor from their stubborn way. Verse 20 And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. And he said, Because that this people has transgressed my covenant, which I commanded their fathers, and have not hearkened unto my voice, I also will not henceforth drive out any from before them of the nations, which Joshua left when he died, that through them I may prove Israel whether they will keep the way of the Lord to walk therein, as their fathers did keep it or not. Therefore the Lord left those nations without driving them out hastily, neither delivered he them into the hand of Joshua. This is the very word of God, Joshua chapter 2. That's what we read. The utter failure of Israel and the persistent grace of Jehovah. The children of Israel persisted in disobedience. It was not just because of their disobedience alone, but God wanted them to be tested by him to see if they will keep the law or not. 
which we saw in verse 22. Bochim means weepers. Angel of the Lord was the pre-incarnate Jesus himself. Upon hearing the words of God, people cried and repented. But we have to understand that crying is not always a true repentance. Need change of heart. Just crying and shedding some tears without any repentance and change of heart is just a worldly sorrow. But godly sorrow brings change of heart. The nation of Israel heard the voice, but there was no real change in their lives. They followed God only for a while, until Joshua and the previous generation of influential God-fearing people died, who helped them to walk with God. The second generation of Israel grew up not knowing the Lord. It was not the leader's fault, it was their own choice to walk away from what they heard from godly leaders. Dear my listeners, dear sisters, as parents we have serious responsibilities through this teaching. Parents are influential to their children both in negative and positive ways, in godly and ungodly ways. We need to teach our children things of God and at the same time we should be role models to our children too so that they will be encouraged to follow our footsteps the godly way and we need to keep praying for them. But our children are ultimately responsible for their own decisions and choices they make in their own lives. They have the freedom to choose right or wrong, the God's way or go the opposite way, the way of the world. Sometimes children may become rebellious and go in the wrong way. Even if we as parents train them in godly way, that is their choice. We see in Genesis, Adam and Eve chose the wrong path path of disobedience. They were under the guidance of the best parent, God himself. In verse 10 of Judges chapter 2, we read that next generation did not know the Lord. They knew about the Lord. They had only the intellectual knowledge, but they did not know him. No personal rela- relationship they had with God. Knowing the Lord is intimacy with the Lord. So the relationship goes beyond intellectual knowledge of saying good and great things about God. We see here that Israelites started serving Baal God, fertility gods committing sexual sins. They are going farther, far and farther down from God's way. In verses 12 through 14 we read, They abandoned and rejected their God, so God also abandoned them. Verse 15 we read, God worked against them. Dear listeners, don't be surprised when terrible things happen in our lives because of our disobedience. God has warned us many times if we disobey there is consequence. God will work against us to bring us back. We will be brought down to the lowest position. So we lift up our hearts and eyes to the Lord. Sin is enjoyable my listeners only for a while. Verse 60, verse 18, when people sin and suffer for it, we see that God is never pleased. God raised up judges. In verse 19, the pattern of going away from God we see with the children of Israel. God never 
tempts anyone but god will test us when we train our children if we don't allow testing process especially in their adolescent life it can be dangerous to them to handle real situations in life choosing the lord is hard it is narrow path and challenging wide road is easy every day we need to make the right choice it is not that easy not only children but uh, we as parents as adults also need to be consistent with the right choice in our daily walk with god in this sinful world may god help us in the coming days through the holy spirit to walk more and more closer to jesus as the hymn writer says just a closer walk with thee grand it jesus is my plea daily walking close to thee let it be dear lord let it be I am weak but thou art strong Jesus keep me from all wrong I'll be satisfied as long as I walk let me walk close to thee Amen. May this small devotion help each one of us.